three. The Canuck. Mark Foster on the left. Now a New Zealand citizen, but uh, Canadian by birth. We'll see if we'll call him a Kiwi after this fight. He's up against Blake Coverdale. So, <laughs> here we go again. We've got another southpaw out there in the form of Foster. And <laughs> what about two of them? So, it's a night for the southpaws. And uh, straight into it. And we see different styles here. We've got the uh, George Foreman style from Blake Coverdale. So, as I said before, differing styles. And this one looks like it could be interesting as well. Both these guys look like they've got a fair bit of power and a good straight right hand there from Foster. Forced back from Coverdale. So another busy fight. These guys have certainly come here well prepared. They're in good shape. And uh, they look like they'll be able to keep this pace up for three rounds. And if one of them can't, I uh, think it would be uh, not too good for them. At the moment, a bit of a feeling out round, a bit of a chess match, an arm wrestle, if you like. And both firing pretty good shots both being able to avoid the damage. Once again, the ropes have not been used. And uh, it's, uh, it's good work by the, by the trainers when they're coach, coaching their fighters. Stay away from the ropes. Very often uh, help you, but uh, Another good place to be, and both guys wanted to be <laughs> dominant and out in the centre in that one as we go back after the first. 23-year-old marine engineer in the Navy. Comes from Ariwa originally, does... Uh, right. Let's see if Richie Hackney can change this fight around a little bit. Well, he's a little bit more busy, Coverdale, at the start of round number two, and equal to the challenge is Foster. Nice straight right hand from Foster, and plenty of power on that left that just skimmed over the head of Coverdale. And uh, maybe there's an opening there, but good footwork on that occasion from Coverdale, managing to evade. So backing his reflexes a little bit with a guard like that is Coverdale. They both score at the same time there. Who's going to pull the trigger first in the next exchange? Well, Coverdale who goes on the, the rampage again. Foster. Immovable. Now, very busy Coverdale in round number two here. And now we see the ropes come into play. Not for long, Foster comes off and fires that straight right hand in his corner, asking him to do it again and keep a little bit more busier. Well, we haven't seen the... Uh, the left of, of Coverdale land cleanly yet, but the, on a couple of occasions that he's fired it, it looks pretty, pretty dangerous weapon. So Coverdale may be edging ahead in round number two, as we get towards the end of it, and uh, one to go. <laughs> Runs his own business doing 3D 
industrial animation and uh, lived in New Zealand or in, in Auckland for 10 years. He and his wife have one son and they're expecting another child in September. So uh, good luck to you there. And well, now that's the best shot that I've seen Foster fire with the left hand. It missed on that occasion, but it did give you an indication of the power that he's got. Covered, oh, nothing wrong with that straight right either. But he didn't back it up, and Coverdale goes on attack like he did on two or three occasions in round number two. I gave him the second round after a, a very even round number one. So, uh, whoa, wow. Well, now, the hands from Coverdale slipping down dangerously, and the power that you you see that Foster possesses, um, ooh, to me, that equals danger. And Coverdale has got to be a little bit careful. But at the moment, he's saying, well, I won round two. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And uh, I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. But uh, at times, those hands have been slipping down. Good reminder for Foster to keep the head up. And Coverdale taking the opportunities to get on that front foot wherever possible. And uh, another couple of big left hands from Foster. Not finding the mark, though. Oh, can he fire some more? Can he get his supporters home? Well, that was a reminder about the guard for Coverdale. And he showed something else here tonight as, as Blake Coverdale that he can take a shot because I thought one of those from uh, Foster might be able to set him back on his heels but he took it and it ended up being a great scrap We've seen three fights here tonight, and each and every one of them have been uh, probably worth the admission ticket on their own. Good stuff. Good to see fighters come to uh, these events well prepared and in good shape. It's the sort of thing that is promoted corporate boxing which started off as a bit of a fun thing but uh, here in New Zealand the guys take it pretty serious yeah he was he was just too busy he come to fight he, he uh, fired a lot of leather and once again Bought the result. Good stuff. I enjoyed it. <laughs>